Dr. Namde Azikiwe, the only black governor general of Nigeria, the first president and the commander in chief of the armed forces, the only Nigerian whose name appeared in the constitution of Nigeria, had a mausoleum built for him in his uh, hometown Onicha, Anambra state of Nigeria. Well, um, a mausoleum is a grand and solemn structure, often a tomb or burial place designed to honor and uh, memorialize a person or group, typically featuring architectural significance and cultural reverence. So today we are going to Zix Mausoleum located at uh, Boromi Roundabout in Onicha, his home town. Yesterday we are taking you to Zix Mausoleum, yes, uh, his hometown in Onicha. That mausoleum is just at his place, you know, his building is behind that mausoleum and I'm going to show you, you know, um, uh, some major things that you need to know about that mausoleum. That mausoleum, quite unfortunate, it was commissioned in 2019. Since 2019, check the gap till now, you know, that place has not been opened, you know, to the general public, amounting to some, uh, you know, kind of, uh, should I say, loss of revenue, because I believe that that place can house some kind of conferences and a whole lot of them that can still generate money whether it's for federal government or for states, yes. So, but however, um, Zik is a nationalist, a known nationalist, and the brain behind the, you know, independence of Nigeria in 1960. He's one of those that fought to nail to ensure that uh, Nigeria gained their independence. So, but however, um, um, there are some basic things we are going to, you know, unfold in this uh, video. You are going to see some things and you are going to hear a lot of things concerning this great man called Zeke of Africa. So let's go straight to the field and get the whole gist, you know, and uh, public. So, but if you are a Nigerian, if you are from Africa, if you are from Igbo speaking side of Nigeria, you must watch this video. You know, it's something that tells you where you are coming from and where you are going. You know, these are the people that believed in Nigeria and they worked for Nigeria. I wonder if they are alive today and see what is happening, how they will feel. You know, so but I'm still Chinedu, a presenter. Let's go straight to the major point. So right now we are inside the compound of the Zix Mausoleum in Onicha, Anambra State is located at uh, Enugu Onicha Expressway, just around that uh, Bromi roundabout. But actually, you are going to see the exact location properly so that uh, you don't uh, mix it up with another place. So, but um, I remember something that happened sometime in 2017 when I went for a conference in uh, Minanaija State. So an MC was, you know, a kind of uh, saying some histories about Niger State, and he said that Niger State is the only state that has produced two heads of states and one president. That's the only state that has produced three presidents. Ah, I was uh, baffled, and I was listening very carefully to know who and who was involved. So, but later I'm going to tell you the details of the three presidents that are from Niger State in Nigeria. So, let's proceed. In case if you don't know, you will know it today. So, but, um, you know, the Nigerians' foremost nationalist, Namdi Azikiwe, universally known as uh, Zik of Africa, you know, he died on May 11, 1996, at age 92. Well, um, I will be telling you some histories about Zeke while you watch the mausoleum. You see, this place 
you know, uh, like I said, it was commissioned in 2019 by uh, President Muhammad Buhari. But you are going to hear some histories about this place, who first awarded the contract, how it came down to the tenure of uh, Buhari and how Buhari commissioned it. You are going to hear every details of this uh, Muslim in this video. So, um, um, I, like uh, I observed, you know, some of the paintings are wearing out, you know, 2019 should be about six years back. Six years back is no longer, you know, a little time. You know, so, but this place is yet to be opened to the general public despite it has been commissioned. You see what I'm saying? So, but let's proceed. The initial contract for the construction of the Zik Mausoleum was awarded in 1997 to Mrs. Lemi Akakim for 350 million naira. It became abandoned and overtaken by wits until it was reawarded in 2013 to a French construction company at the tune of 1.49 billion naira. That is the Zig statues. Can have a closer look of it. In fact, if I had seen the person that uh, molded these statues, I would dash the person something. The person did a wonderful and uh, standard work here. This building is the the burial, the tomb itself, where Zeke was buried. Zeke's body is laid inside this building. It's laid inside this building. So you can see the place where his body was laid in. But like I said, the place is not open to general public for now, despite it has been commissioned. So having said that, upon coming to power in 2015, President Muhammad Buhari gave marching orders to works minister Babatunde Fashola that the contractor must deliver the job by October 2018. So the Zik Mausoleum consists of the museum housing Zik's grave that's the museum we are now that's the tomb houses uh, Zig's grave and an administrative unit see the administrative unit here that's the building the administrative unit on two floors the administrative block is made up of uh, a reception offices conference halls vip lounge Museum com archives video display. You can see the commissioning of this place, right? Honorable Dr. Nam Jazikiwe Museum and Conference Center Administrative Building, commissioned by His Excellency Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, in 2019. That is what is written there. So, like I was saying, then video display room research library documentation section and conveniences they are all inside this building the building is quite big enough you know um i just thought of it that by now this place should have been open to the general public to enjoy it and it will be a source of revenue because it has a conference hall that people can rent out to do one or two things and uh, this time around in this country, we should not encourage waste of any sort. So this building behind is Zeke's house. This is his house where he lived. That is his house. So let's continue. Politicians, poets, authors, orators, sportsmen, visionary, nationalists, but above all else, 
a remarkable human being. Zeke lived and died as an acclaimed father of modern Nigeria. There is no dispute about that. So then, Zeke was born in the house of Lani North, then from the Eastern Igbo parentage. Zeke spent his most productive years in the Yoruba West. He spoke Hausa, Yoruba, and Igbo fluently, as well as other Nigerian languages. He was a welcome presence everywhere in the country. That is Zeke for you. Then he is a native of Onicha in Anambra State. Zeke was born on November 16, 19. Oh, four. In Zungeru, was born in Zungeru. So Zungeru is in Niger State. That's why that MC was saying that Niger State has produced three presidents. The three presidents are Babangida. That's a uh, Babangida, General Abubakar. And as Abu Bakr Abdul Salami and uh, Zeke. Zeke was born in Niger State, Zungeru. That's where his parents born him. So <laughs> it's quite uh, 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 funny something. So, but however, it's true because he can claim to be from Niger State officially, though his parents are from uh, Anambra State. He had his early education at the Eastern Hope Waddell Institute, Calabar. After further education in Lagos, he stowed away on an American-bound cargo boat in his dogged search of the Febo Golden Fleece. So this stowaway is not something of today. He was smoked out of his hidden place and cast overboard off the coast of Accra, Ghana. Hmm. He refused to accept defeat and still made his way to America, the land of his dreams. When the suffering in the United States got so much he attempted suicide. You see what some of these great people pass through. So you that are passing through some, some things and you feel that your own has ended, is when you give up that your own has ended. You don't need to give up. Whatever comes to you, you are greater than whatever that comes to you. That's what we should have in mind. So great people don't give up like that. He attempted suicide on a railway line, but was saved by a good Samaritan. Zeke was inspired by the vision of the early Ghanaian nationalist Wegir Agri, the legendary American jurist to good Mashar, the first African-American Supreme Court judge in USA was Zeke's classmate. Zeke serves as a lecturer in his uh, alma mater, Lincoln University, before traveling back to Africa. First to Ghana because he wanted to liberate the entire African continent. What a huge dream. That's why they call him Zeke of Africa. He's not talking about Nigeria, but Africa as a whole. He wants to liberate. First out of uh, Ghana by British colonizers with a change of uh, sedition due to his native Nigerians to found the West African pilots. He then joined forces on August 26, 1944 with the venerable Herbert Macaulay to start up the National Council of Nigeria and the Cameroon NCNC, that's a political party then. Zeke's pan-Nigerian vision was such that 
he made Lagos and the West his base instead of the East. Zeke and his NCNC were poised to form the government of the Western House of Assembly in 1951 until the action group turned the table through the controversial carpet crossing incidents. Well, it is not over until it is over. We are still coming with some good gist for you. Zik then became the premier of the Eastern Region in 1954. He was in the forefront of a Nigerian fight for independence and his NCNC had the highest number of popular votes in the 1959 independence election. Even as the Northern People's Congress (NPC) won more constituencies as mapped out by the British, he was appointed president of the Senate and shortly after Nigeria's independence on October 1st, 1960, he became the Governor General of the Federation. He was appointed the president of Nigeria in 1963 when Nigeria became a republic. The Zikist essence is enshrined in the motto of the University of Nigeria and Soka, which he founded. The motto is show the light so that the people can find a way. That's the motto. A believer in healthy competition, he charged his fellow Yubo people who were lagging behind in education to go to school so that they could match the other Nigerian ethnic nationalities and uh, you know riverine people who had earlier encountered the white man's education. He led Stella Ibosons known as the Argonauts to go searching for education. In Zeke's lifetime, the Igbo people took up the challenge such that they shot ahead of others, which led to the specter of the so called Igbo domination. Zeke was the lionized author of the books such as Renaissance Africa. Liberia in World Politics, My Odyssey. It is the great man was equally at home with traditional matters as the Owele of uh, Onicha. Now that a mausoleum has been built in his name, the significance of Zeke as a Nigerian preeminent, you know, statesman should continue to shine forth. Zeke remains alive even in death as the quintessential Renaissance man. Well, um, um, with that, uh, I've given you a detailed rundown of Zeke and uh, all you need to know about him. Well, that uh, detail was, uh, you know, called from a Sun newspaper, you know, sometime ago so here is the entrance to the mausoleum you know you can see the Enugu Onicha Expressway that is the Oka bound lane this is Oka bound lane you know this is a very big roundabout uh, that's why it's called Zeke roundabout or Boromi roundabout Bromi Hospital is just close by after All Hallows Seminary School. All Hallows has uh, the same fence with uh, this Zik Muslim. So that is the location of this uh, place. Well, if you have not subscribed to Yanga Life channel, please click on the subscription button, notification bell, and let's hear your view about this video. And please don't forget to click on the like button and do share these videos for others to watch. Thank you as you do that.